All right, guys, if you can bear with me today, this is a spur of the moment video. Uh, the sun is going down. It's getting really cold out and I don't have much battery in the camera. So I want to do this as quickly as possible. Somebody had asked me about the nutrient values of this uh, broiler manure. What's actually in it? I had said that uh, this stuff is tested for nutrients and the uh, nutrient values are recorded and have to be included and uh, compared to your soil tests to be in compliance with this manure management uh, plan that we have to deal with here uh, in Pennsylvania here with the Chesapeake watershed and that uh, criminal organization but anyway <laughs> um, not to get political I, I don't mean to be like that but um, somebody had asked me what was actually in it and what the values were uh, based on the tests uh, like I say I did do have it tested I have the paper right here um, the first manure uh, nutrient plan that they sent me they said was inaccurate they had to redo it I just got this in the mail today and uh, everything was approved and uh, we're gonna be able to move forward with this uh, broiler manure for sure uh, you have to have a manure management writer that does all the soil values and everything you can do it yourself but you almost need a PhD to do it um, so I didn't have to pay for this. The uh, chicken farmer that is exporting the manure was the one that has to pick up the bill if he's going to uh, get rid of his manure. Um, so anyway, once the manure management plan is written out, it has to go to the county conservation office. They have to review it and sign off on it. It is a huge uh, bureaucracy with red tape and everything else. Um, but we are good uh, with the plan. Like I say, I can't spread any here and I can't spread any there. <laughs> This one is, is okay. The, they have a map with boundaries and it's just this up, the lower half is where they want me to stay away from. So this pile is safe sitting here. So uh, let me get the, into these values. I'll write them on the whiteboard so you can see. All right, it's really getting dark. I'll try to get through this here. Um, so I trust these results because the same laboratory that does my soil test was the laboratory that has to test this manure um, from the uh, grower. So uh, the manure type, it is high broiler it is called the grouping, it's high broiler. Uh, these are going to be pounds per ton. So this will be the, the uh, fertilizer pounds in every ton of broiler manure. So the total nitrogen comes to 58.60 pounds uh, per ton. So I can put two ton of the acre. And I'm going to, I will be putting 117.2 pounds of nitrogen to the acre. Uh, ammonium uh, nitrate, nitrogen NH4, uh, 10.40 pounds or 20.8, which will be applied. Uh, organic nitrogen 48.20 pounds 96.40 uh, to the acre for your phosphate um, 35.40 pounds or a total of 70.80 per acre uh, potash which is very important which I am needing here I'm getting 54 pounds per ton at two ton of the acre equals 108 pounds uh, on every acre that is with the two ton limit that I'm limited to here uh, with my application rate it's a lot of nitrogen and uh, I'm still planning to do some top dressing uh, mixed in with that so um, we're definitely going to be at our nitrogen close to our nitrogen um, where we need to be at I uh, like a little more potash I was counting on 150 uh, pounds to the acre but it is what it is um, this is uh, very cheap manure like I say it is the uh, hauling that is going to cost the most uh, if you have your own truck and you can come up with a situation like this uh, that you can get it uh, it does work in your favor so like I say I don't remember who asked me uh, I didn't want you guys to think I was uh, BSing you when I did say that they do test the manure um, this was the paper that just came today so I have to review everything once again uh, they do have uh, some even some limits about uh, what time of the year you can apply it so I've got to go through where I'm gonna put the corn and where the uh, manure has to go so we'll see we'll see how it does um so this was already uh applied uh in the summertime on that hay field and i did not take that hay crop off so this should be what is <laughs> i'm sure some of it might be gone but this is what is prepped in that field for um the 2019 uh, corn season in that hay plus I'm sure you'll get some I don't know if you'll get some credits from the grass and the roots once they uh, start to uh, die back with the um, 
uh, the uh, decomposition. I'm sure a lot of this is stored in that grass uh, that I'd never harvested. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, all right, I gotta turn my light off. I am running out of battery. All right, so that sun really dropped down fast. It didn't take me that long to write the, those values on the board. So uh, here we have 30 tons. Now this was uh, picked up in 20, 18 and uh, this here 30 tons at two tons an acre I can do 15 acres again uh, I'm farming a little bit more than 15 acres <laughs> so um, I can get 157 I think I looked 100 I have to look again at the paper uh, with this uh, you're, it's the based on the growing season so I don't know I'll have to check out the paperwork again I think the old one was uh, too low and they upped it uh, based on the uh, locations of the streams and the soil tests is how they figure that so we got to go through it again and find out how much I can get here. Um, at the most, I can get 50 ton at one shot uh, that he has. Uh, like I say, he has two broiler houses. He has no land to spread it on. It all has to be exported. And every six weeks, he empties one broiler house. Then six weeks, he'll empty the, another, and the next one. And then it's just a cycle back and forth, back and forth. This was gotten that in one of that six week period. I think three weeks have gone by. In another three weeks, um, hopefully the ground is froze solid. I can get 25 tons here on a shot uh, from the tractor trailer and hopefully another 25 tons the same day he can pull right in here and turn around right in the cornfield and pile it up here so um yeah, definitely an advantage of this stuff uh, versus uh, there, there's been <laughs> been watching some videos about uh, commercial fertilizer versus manure lately. And uh, that's kind of my values here. And uh, everybody's going to be different. Um, so uh, and each batch of manure might be different, too, um, based on I still see it steaming there. I don't know what you guys can see. It's pretty dark, but it's still steaming. Um, so that's where we're at guys. I did want to answer that question. So just a quick video today. If anybody has any questions, uh, just leave me a comment. I'll try to get back to you. So thanks for watching.